hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is mohammed ali and in this video tutorial we will retrieve all the user from our firebase database on our find friends activity using the latest and new version of firebase recycler adapter which is with the own bind view holder method and the own create uh, method so first of all before we start let me tell you in the previous video tutorial we have created this find uh, find friends activity and we use uh, we add a recycler view and a toolbar on our find friends activity and then we define these two fields uh, here on our find friends activity .java file and also we initialize those fields here okay and also we create this user display layout to retrieve all the users on our find friends activity using this user display layout with the firebase recycler adapter so if you have not watched the previous video tutorial then please go and watch first so in order to use the firebase recycler adapter we need to add a dependency for the firebase ui and this link will be available in the description down below you can simply click on that and it will redirect you to here okay and if you scroll down here then here we have these dependencies which is firebase ui for firebase real time database okay this one firebase ui database so you can simply copy this one Control C and go to the app and here we have build.gradle module app double click on that and first of all uh, remember that these are our firebase or firebase database and firebase storage the versions are 11.8.0 okay at the time when I am recording this video so this is the latest version now and then pass that uh, U firebase UI database word, uh, uh, dependency here so you can see that uh, the firebase UI database version is uh, 4.1.0 but this version is not, uh, I mean, appropriate or you, you can say we will get error if you sync the project with that. So we must use the appropriate uh, version of the Firebase UI with our all Firebase services, I mean the old database and storage. So how we can do that? If you come here to the uh, documentation, then you can see we have the Firebase UI which is 4.1.0 and if you scroll a little bit here, then here you can see as of version 4.1.0, then we must follow this version for the Firebase Auth which is 16.0.1 and for the Firebase Database it is 16.0.1 and for the storage it is also this, okay? So you must go with that. But in our case as you uh, see that these are the versions which are 11.8.0 so in order to uh, use appropriate UI database, I mean Firebase UI version then we can simply remove this one and notice which is 11.8.0 so here you can see in this table that is uh, our uh, Firebase services versions, I mean the old database and storage is 11.8.0. So for the Firebase UI, we can uh, add this 3.2.2. So what we're going to do here, we can simply write 3.2.2, which is appropriate versions with that. Okay, you can see this. So now we can simply click on sync now. And it is synced successfully and Gradle build running now and we have to wait for it and it is synced successfully. So now what we're going to do, you can simply clo uh, close that now and now come to the find friends activity. And uh, first of all, here we need to create our own start method and inside this own start method by using the Firebase Recycler adapter, we can retrieve all the users from our Firebase database. So we can simply write Firebase recycler adapter and it need two parameters one is the module class so first let create a module class click here new java class and that the name of that class will be contacts click ok and this is our class which is created just now and here uh, we need to retrieve the name and it is of string data type so the first one is the name the second one is the status and the image put a semicolon here and the most important thing is this uh, values which are this nm and this will be this must be same with your uh, database key values i mean this one okay you can see this name status and image so you must use the same names okay and after that uh, we need to create a constructor of these three so here click on this generate constructor with all these three parameters and now we need setter and getter for the name status and image so generate getter and setter with all these three so you can see this okay 
now the next thing it needs uh, an empty constructor or you can say a default constructor so this public and then the class name so in this way we create an empty constructor or you can say a constructor with no parameters so yeah this is all about our module class now we can close this and now we can pass that first parameter which is our module class comma and the second parameter it needs is the view holder class which you create just now so we can say public static class and we can give it a name as find friends view holder it should extend the recycler view dot view holder and it need you can see here the red line so it needs a constructor so you can simply click here generate and constructor so you can see the error is gone now successfully and now let's pass this second parameter here okay which is find friends view holder we can call this as adapter you can give it any name you want but uh, you can give it name adapter equals to new firebase recycler adapter and alongside with this this on bind view holder method is created and this on create view holder first of all make sure to put a semicolon here so this on create view holder method is basically for the uh, user display layout okay uh, where we have this uh, we will basically retrieve or you can say connect our this uh, two text view which is the username user status and this profile image so it must return that I mean this uh, friend view holder so what you're gonna do first of all remove this okay and now there we can simply say view let's name this as view equals to layout inflator dot from and by using this view group object here we can say view group dot get contacts then we can say dot inflate so as i told you that here now basically we are linking or you can say connect our this user display layout uh, to our this uh, find friend view holder class so what we're gonna do here we can say or dot layout dot user display layout comma view group comma false and make sure to put a semicolon here and now we can say find friend view holder let's name this as view holder equals new friend friend view holder and we can pass this view to our uh, friend friend view holder okay so put a semicolon here and by using this view holder object i mean we have to return this now to our this class so what we're going to do here we can simply say return view holder put a semicolon and now the next thing is now we can uh, access our these fields on our view holder class so let's do that first so we have two text view and one is the image so the first one is for the name so here we can say text view let's give it a name username the second one is the user status so we can say user status then we have a circle image view and we can give it a name profile image and now we have to initialize that here in our constructor by using this item view object of this view so we can say username equals to item view dot find view by id or dot id and the id for the username is user profile name so we can say user profile name let's copy paste this for the user status and then we can change the id first which is user online status and make sure to change this also to user status then we have the profile image so here we can say profile image and the id for the profile image is user profile image so we can say user profile image so yeah that's it and now uh, here now we are going to uh, create the firebase recycler options and it needs the parameter which is the contacts uh, our uh, module class let's give it a name options equals to new firebase recycler options dot build make sure to pass here the contacts and then we can say dot set query here we will basically pass the reference or you can say the query to our firebase database and after that we can say dot build and make sure to put a semicolon here 
so first of all here we need to create a reference or query to our users node so you can simply come here above and here we can say private database reference let's call this as users ref and then here in our own create method we can say user ref equals firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and the child is the users node and now here we can pass this query or the reference to our database comma and the second parameter it need is the uh, module class which is contacts dot class so yeah that's it and now here we can simply pass these options here okay which are these firebase recycler options so you can simply pass that here now the next thing is the on bind view holder first of all check the objects of that which is our holder class so the object of that is holder then the position and for the module class we have an object model so basically here inside this method what we're going to do is that uh, we are retrieving as you know that we are retrieving the name image and status from the firebase data uh, database using our contact module class okay by using this object we will set uh, those i mean the name status and the profile image to our these fields which we define and initialize here on our find friend, friend view holder class so how we can do that by using the holder object which is the find friends view holder object okay so i show you you can see this then here we can say dot user name which is the user name field so you can say dot set text model which is basically the object of our module class or you can say the model class so here we can say get name then we have the status so we can say holder dot user status dot set text model dot get status then we have the image so in order to display the image as you know that in the previous video tutorial we have added a picasso library for uh, displaying the uh, images okay which is this library i hope you remember so by using the picasso library here we can simply say picasso dot get dot load model dot get image dot into holder dot profile image so yeah that's it and now the last thing which is left is that is here after this on uh, create view holder we can set this we can set basically our uh, recycler view list which is our find friend recycler list dot set adapt to the adapter and we have to uh, start listening the firebase recycler adapter which is by the name adapter so we can say dot start listening so before we run the app uh, here we need to confirm our these fields so username status profile image the id of this we by mistake we give a wrong id to our user status if you come here then for the user status the online status is basically the green dot which will just tell uh, in which we will work in the upcoming video tutorials so for now i mean the status is the id of this user status is user status okay so make sure to use the same ids and now let's run the app so our app is running now successfully and now let's go to the find friends activity and here we go here you can see that uh, these are all the users in our firebase database here you can see there are one two three four five okay so these are all the users now one thing which you can see is uh, this peter parker as I, you know that uh, the profile picture is optional in this app which we are developing a chat app just like whatsapp so in order i mean if a user has not set their profile picture at the time when he create account then what we uh, here we can't uh, just display an empty space like that so we can display a default profile picture so for doing that you can simply go to the android studio and here you can see when we are setting this profile image then after this model dot get image here we can say dot place holder so then we can say r dot drawable and inside the drawable folder we have a profile image okay i mean which is basically our default profile image picture so this will basically display that default profile 
uh, if a user has not set any profile picture so I run the app our app is running now and now let's check what happens now and here you can see that now here is the default profile picture okay if a user has not set any profile picture then it will display this default profile picture so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will further work on it so if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now